Hi friends, welcome to today's video. In the last section, we have covered energy stored in a coupled circuit. Okay, and today we are going to discuss the equivalent T and pi model of a transformer. Okay, here we won't discuss the detailed part of transformer. In magnetically coupled circuits, we introduce transformer as a new circuit element. Okay, new circuit element. And in generally, transformer is nothing but a four terminal device with two or more coupled circuit. And we know the basic working principle of a transformer. What is that mutual inductance? Or we can say Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. In transformer connection, we know there are two coils. L1 and L2, a current I1 is passing through the first coil, I2 is passing through the second coil. Let M be the mutual inductance between these two, V1 be the primary voltage, V2 be the secondary voltage. Okay, but it is sometimes more convenient convenient to replace this magnetically coupled circuit with an equivalent circuit without any coupling for calculation and circuit analysis and all for that in equivalent circuit we have to take or we have to assume some assumptions what is that in this case here we are going to assume that a common ground for L1 and L2 a common ground for L1 and L2. If we are considering a common ground for these two, what is V1? V1 is equal to I1 into, in the impedance form of inductance, we can say G omega L1 plus M into J, sorry, I2 into j omega m and what is v2 v2 is equal to i2 into j omega l2 plus i1 into j omega m in matrix representation we can see v1 v2 is equal to j omega l1 j omega m j omega m and j omega l2 into I1, I2 which is nothing but our first equation and if we take the inverse of this matrix we can write I1, I2 is equal to what is the inverse of this matrix 1 by determinant into unjoined of this matrix. What is the determinant of this matrix? Determinant of this matrix is nothing but j omega whole square into L1 L2 minus m square. Okay, we can write it outside L1 L2 minus m square into interchange the diagonal elements j omega L2 j omega L1 and put a negative sign for the off diagonal elements ok so this is nothing but the inverse of this matrix into v1 v2 on simplification we will get i1 i2 is equal to cancel 1 j omega from these 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 uh, terms we get L2 divided by J omega into L1 L2 minus M square minus M divided by J omega into L1 L2 minus M square minus M J omega into L1 L2 minus M square L1 by J omega into L1 L2 minus M square into V1 comma V2. Let this be equation number 2. Okay. Okay. 
Now I have rewritten the equation number 1 and 2 over here. Now let's look into the T model representation. In T model how we can represent the transformer? In T model it comprises two equivalent inductance. Two equivalent inductance that is LA, LB and LC. LA, LB and LC with a current I1 through this branch, I2 through this branch. Let V1 and V2 be the primary and secondary voltages respectively and current through this branch is nothing but I1 plus I2. Now write the KVL equation for these two loops. The that is V1 is equal to J omega LA into I1 plus J omega LC into I1 plus I2. V2 is equal to J omega LB into I2 plus J omega LC into I1 plus I2. Okay, J omega LB into I2 plus J omega LC into I1 plus I2. In matrix representation, we can write V1, V2 is equal to J omega LA plus J omega LC. J omega I2 a term is nothing but J omega LC. Here, J omega LC, J omega LB plus LC. Let this be equation number 3. On comparing equation number 3 and 1, we can write as L1 is equal to LA plus LC or LC is equal to M LB plus LC is equal to L2. Thus, LA can be written as LA equal to L1 minus LC is nothing but M. LB equal to L2 minus LC is nothing but M. LC is equal to M. This is nothing but the equivalent T model representation of a transformer. Now we have derived this but no need to study the derivative part. Just focus on the equations for solving the problems. Now let us look into the pi model. Okay, pi model. In pi model representation, we can draw the network as in the figure shown here V1, V2, I1, I2, LA, LB and LC. Okay. Let this be nodal voltage V1, nodal voltage V2 and write the KCL equation at node 1 and node 2 then we will get as I1 is equal to what I am assuming the current direction like this V1 minus V2 by J omega LC plus V1 by J omega LA and what is I2? I2 is equal to V2 minus V1 by J omega LC plus V2 by J omega LB. Now I am going to write it in the matrix format. I1, I2 is equal to taking the V1 terms together 1 by J omega LA plus 1 by J omega LC and minus 1 by J omega LC minus 1 by 
j omega l c 1 by j omega l b plus 1 by j omega l c into v 1 into v 2 v 1 v 2 ok and this b equation number 4 on comparing equation number 2 and 4 we can write as first we consider this term 1 by I am removing the j omega terms which is common in both ok 1 by L a plus 1 by L c is equal to L 2 by L 1 L 2 minus m square what is 1 by L c I am removing negative terms and j omega term from both these equations from both the terms so 1 by L c is equal to m divided by L 1 L 2 minus m square ok and from this equation from this term 1 by L b plus 1 by L c is equal to L 2 by L 1 L 2 minus m square ok. So, from this equation we can write L c is equal to take the reciprocal of this term L 1 L 2 minus m square divided by m and what is L a 1 by L c is nothing but this. So, I am taking 1 by L c to R h s of this equation and we can write L a equal to L 2 minus sorry L 1 L 2 minus m square by L 2 minus m L 2 minus m in the same way L b is equal to L 1 L 2 minus m square by L 1 minus m ok. So, this is nothing but the equivalent pi model representation of a transformer in magnetically coupled circuits. Just focus on the formula itself but compared to T model pi network rarely comes in questions but for our better understanding I am considering this. Ok, now let us discuss transformer as an impedance matching device. Here this is nothing but a special case of equivalent circuit of transformer referred to primary and referred to secondary. I am not going into the derivation part that will be discussed in the transformer ok. Just I will give the formula ok V1 I1 L1 L2 V2 I2 here. I am not considering the conventional direction of current. Let this be I2 or else we have to take negative sign negative sign in the equation I will show you. In transformer we know V1 by V2 here N1 is the number of terms in primary N2 is the number of terms in the secondary coil. V1 by V2 is nothing but N1 by N2 which is equal to I2 by I1. The, this current is leaving from the secondary. In conventional sign we are taking the direction as reverse but here if we take the direction as like this we have to consider a minus sign over here. So, here I am connecting a load impedance saddle across the secondary. If saddle is the load impedance, the input impedance looking from the primary is nothing but V in by I1 which is equal to N1 by N2 whole square into saddle ok. Just remember this formula for solving the problems. So,
so with this theory part i am concluding the magnetically coupled circuits in the next lecture we can solve some problems related to magnetically coupled circuits okay thank you